Good morning, we're taking Scarlett to camp in the brand new Toyota 4Runner. We officially joined the 4Runner club. Ty is so excited about this. I don't know how that thing works. Oh, okay. I gotta get Scarlett buckled in. We're just using her MyFold seat right now that we used and we traveled until we actually get the car seat installed. Ty got his new car yesterday. Do you love it, babe? Love it. Love it. He took it out and went to off, what you call it, off-roading? Yeah, I took it on some trails. He went out and took it on some trails, first thing yesterday, as soon as he got it. You guys, we ordered this through Carvana, and this was the best experience, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it was This is a really easy, cool yeah. experience buying this. Ty was gonna get a Traeger for Father's Day, that was, <laughs> that was the plan, um, a smoker, and we actually ended up getting him, or trading in his car instead, which is, going to be really fun because our goal is to get a tent installed on top of this and to take this out and start camping and spending some more time up north in the summers because Arizona summers are so brutal <laughs> and we really want to just go start spending some more time outside. Just mounted the camera because my arm was getting tired. Anyways, Father's Day is approaching you guys and um, we've been trying to figure out what we're getting our dads for Father's Day and I wanted to quickly share this website called giftcards.com and they're actually partnering with me on today's video. Basically they're a website full of gift cards, hence the name, but what I really like about them is they have multi-store gift cards so you can purchase a gift card and use at multiple places. It's actually what I got my dad for Father's Day. I got my dad the Happy Dad gift card and with this specific gift card you can shop at Lowe's, GameStop, Top Golf, Outback, Dollar Shave Club, Fanatics, or Domino's. And I feel like he's probably gonna use this mainly at, well he does Dollar Shave Club and then he shops at Lowe's a lot too, but he does love some pizza, so maybe Domino's too. Um, I don't know, but the nice thing about this is he has the choice to shop at whichever place he wants to shop with this one gift card. So one thing that I love about giftcards.com is they offer these giving good gift cards. And these are a line of multi-store gift cards featuring a curated set of consumers' favorite stores and restaurants across top selling categories. When consumers purchase a Giving Goods card, Blackhawk Network Inc. will donate 3% of the purchase price of this card to the featured charity. Some of the charities they include are Feeding America, Habitat for Humanity, Make-A-Wish, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and Wounded Warrior Project. They had another one called the Happy Best Day Ever gift card, and this one had like BJ's on it, AutoZone, H&M, um, Topgolf, Dollar Shave Club, Fanatics, and Domino's as well. But I really think he's gonna like the Lowe's part to this, so that's why I went with the Happy Dad gift card. I ended up getting an e-gift card for my dad, and it's very easy to do. So just go to giftcards.com, and you can go over to the e-cards tab, and like I said, I chose the Happy Dad gift card, and he'll be able to use this specific gift card to shop at multiple places, which is so fun. You can choose the amount. There's a range of $25 to $500, and then you're able to type in the recipient's information. You're able to include a little message, and what I really like is you're actually able to personalize your gift card with a photo or a video as well. Gift cards are sent as soon as possible. 99% of approved e-gifts are sent within 15 minutes or less of processing, but it can take up to 24 hours. Anyways, I'm always trying to figure out what we can get our dads for Father's Day. I feel like my dad's pretty easy to buy for, but his dad is <laughs> not easy to buy for at all. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. His dad's so hard to buy for. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is gift cards make the perfect gift, especially when you don't know what to get somebody. We're pulling into the, the car wash, by the way. Um, but if you guys are looking for a gift for dad for this Father's Day, I'd highly recommend checking out giftcards.com because they have so many options. If you guys are needing a gift card, I'll have giftcards.com linked down below. I feel like we should have brought Scarlett to this first. Yeah, she loves She would have loved this. Love I know, I feel bad too. <laughs> He's obsessed with the car. He won't stop talking about it. The only thing is there's no where I put my sunglasses. What are you gonna do? <laughs> you don't have somewhere to I put your sunglasses. It. I can't. <laughs> you gotta return it. There's no place to put my sunglasses. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna scratch all my sunglasses up like Caitlin. Wow. <laughs> That's why I don't have nice sunglasses. It's true. Um we are going to Starbucks right now and I'm trying a brand new drink that is keto approved. 
Still back on keto, but you guys, I had my first ever cheat meal. Well, cheat is, you, day and a you half. You have to run in, right? No drive-thru? Oh, yeah. Just pull up. I did a or, order ahead. Okay. Um, Do you want to go through the drive-thru? Or can you? Yeah, you can. You can just go through it. I don't think it's uh, easy. Just, just, right. just go in. Right. I'll just go in. All right. All right. <laughs> um, as I was saying, you guys, I cheated for the first time on keto in five weeks this past weekend. Um... Saturday night and all day Sunday. I thought it was over with keto. No, I went back on it yesterday and I'm trying to get back. Over. He was like, you're done. No, I'm trying to get back in ketosis now. Um, but my cheat meals were, the very first cheat meal I had was a peanut butter burger and it was from cold beer and cheeseburgers, cheeseburgers and it was so worth it. And sweet potato tots. And then Sunday morning I ordered an acai bowl and that was everything. Those are so good. They're so good. And then I'm a little burnt out on them though. Oh, it must Weirdly. be nice. <laughs> I miss them so much. And then I also ordered Thai chili to go, our Thai food, which he orders like every night, basically. Um, and it's always kills I'd say me. At least every other night. Every other night, and always kills me to see him eating. I'm like, I want that so bad. So I ordered that, and um, it was definitely worth it. But I felt so icky and tired and. Um, I'm ready to get back in my keto swing because I had messed it all up doing that. Okay, this is what I got. If this is good, screenshot this. If not, totally ignore this. <laughs> let's give this a try and see what it tastes like. Okay, let's try this out. I hope this is good because I have yet to find my keto Starbucks order yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I just found it. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is delicious. 10 out of 10 recommend this. Venti cold brew, extra heavy cream. It's the heavy whipping cream. One pump of sugar-free vanilla, one pump of uh, sugar-free cinnamon dolce, and the cinnamon powder on top. I have been trying so hard what's to find my drink. What? So what's extra heavy cream? Extra heavy cream, cinnamon powder, and one pump sugar-free vanilla, one pump sugar-free cinnamon dolce. You didn't all the sugar that's in it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? <laughs> No, what the, am I missing? the cinnamon powder makes it's so good. Yeah, when I used to do keto, I'd have like the bulletproof coffee mm -hmm. and then put a bunch of cinnamon in it, and it was so good. That's what I typically have every morning with bulletproof yeah. coffee because that's like a good way to get so much fat in my you diet. You should have asked them when you're in there. I'm pretty sure they could do that because I, I literally got bulletproof coffee from Starbucks. If anybody has they, gotten they, bulletproof coffee from Starbucks, let me know on Instagram. What do you ask for? Because I didn't see it. They on have order. Kerrygold like grass fed butter that's unsalted. That's there. what I use at home, yeah. Or they used to. I, I don't know if they still do. Maybe. I have to ask. That was when keto was really like, like Joe Rogan was talking about it a lot, where a lot of people were doing it. Speaking of Joe Rogan, we're going to see him on Friday. Oh, yeah. That's Friday. Oh, yeah. yeah. Super excited. Our friends are coming to town on Friday, and we have tickets for Friday night. Sorry, this is shaking. But, um, yeah, side note, we've been prepping for... Does that shake the more than... In your car? I just have an awful, like my camera holder. Everybody asks me to link it. I never link it because I don't like it at all. It's not good. Okay guys, it is noon and I have been sitting at my desk working all morning, all morning on all the things. I had a whole list of things I needed to get done today. I'm trying to cram in as much work as possible before our guests get here. Um, so I'm not like, I mean, I'm still gonna have to work but I won't have to work as much. I'm just trying to get caught up on what I can. I need to wash my hair so bad too, by the way. It feels so greasy, but whatever. It's not happening today. I am going to quickly run to Target. I need to get a few random things like stock up on toilet paper, paper towels. Uh, I might get some new towels for us because ours are, I've like totally ruined our towels with my face wash. The antibacterial one that I use, I can't remember what it's called, the benzoyl peroxide, I think, or something like that. It stains your towels and I've totally ruined my towels, like totally ruined them. So I do need to possibly get some new towels. Okay, psych, I had to go run some errands for our swimsuits. One of the local pickups, I gave her a voice instead of a girl's and she ordered a girl's. So I just ran to Chantel's house, grabbed the right swimsuit, met with her, swapped it out. Hopefully I didn't do that to anybody else. I really hope I didn't, but um, issue resolved. <laughs> Shipping out that many orders. I was really hoping we didn't make any mistakes, but we are human, so hopefully, hopefully that does not happen to anybody else. I just ate this so fast, I was gonna show you guys, but this is one of my favorite little on-the-go keto snacks. It was salami, gouda cheese, and salted almonds. I get these at like Target or my local fries. Um, they're by Hillshire. They're really good and a really good keto snack. There's two net carbs. 26 grams of fat, and where's my protein? 
18 grams of protein. Anyways, I'm sitting in the Target parking lot and I need to go run in there now and get this Aaron Rand before I go pick up Scarlet from camp, so let's go. I should mention too, if you guys are wanting to purchase my swimsuit collaboration with Forever French, we still have suits left in all of the colors. Um, hopefully we have your size. We won't be restocking these, so this is a one-time thing. So if you're wanting to get one of these swimsuits, I'll leave a link down below in the description box where you guys can shop all of our suits. We got a windows down, driving on a 405, sing along to the radio. kept shocking me in there. My hand like hurts. I'm home and here's a quick Target haul. I just got a bunch of like random things. We got Diet Pepsi for Ty's friend who's staying with us, um, Nick, and then all the Coke Zeros for Ty. Quest Pizza. Trying to find new things for Scarlet to eat for breakfast. So these biscuit roll-ups by Jimmy Dean's, we're gonna give a shot. She doesn't really like eggs, so we'll see how that goes. I grabbed some paper plates so I don't have to do all the dishes when we have guests. And I grabbed these Casa Luna towels. They're so big and soft, and I really like these, and I like the color of them a lot. Almond milk, regular milk for Scarlet, Danimals for Scarlet. Uh, these, uh, too good. Yogurts are really good. There's only two grams of sugar, three carbs, I think, three net carbs. Um, these are delicious. Tampons. I need to switch to a menstrual cup. I know, I just haven't took the leap yet. Not the healthiest, but Lucky Charm bars. Scarlet loves those. Some more scissors for her because somehow we lose her scissors all the time. I don't know. She likes to like cut projects out. Grabbed a few shirts for Ty for Father's Day. This tank top, these were all $10. He has this already, but he wears it all the time. He was wearing it this morning, I think, and he needs to replace it because it's getting a little old. So I grabbed him another one of those. These are all the Goodfellow um, t-shirts too. He loves the Goodfellow t-shirts. And then this navy one. And then I grabbed some eggs. I think that's everything. Oh, and then giant thing of toilet paper and paper towels. Hey, nothing's gonna get in our way. We will be the biggest band in town. Mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go. Putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out. Okay, one of my favorite lunch, I don't even know what you want to call this. I'm eating at three o'clock right now. Um, but one of my favorite things to eat right now for keto is one of these Johnsonville jalapeno cheddar sausages. I like to grill it or I just do it on the stove. Grilling, it's way better though. Um, and then I wrap it in one of these cheese wraps. These are from Trader Joe's and they're so, so good. They're a Parmesan cheese wrap. I just heat it up in the microwave for 10 seconds and roll it up on this and then dip it in some sugar-free ketchup, which I got this at one of our local uh, like keto bakery places, which is really good, by the way. I think it's called Keto Confections. It's in Chandler, Arizona. But I bought this ketchup there and this ketchup is so good and it's sugar-free. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We're playing live. Does not look appetizing, but it is very, very delicious. I'm gonna eat this and we're gonna go get Scarlet here soon. Also gonna pour myself a Coke Zero. I don't really have soda that often, but I do like myself a good Coke Zero. I wish I had some limes, because I love adding lime to Coke Zero. Okay, it's 6.30, I haven't vlogged for a while. We picked Scarlet up from camp and then we went straight to the pool. Ty and I picked her up from camp, we changed her in the car, went straight to the pool. We were there for like, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. We met some neighbors there and she played and swam and our slides are on at our neighborhood pool and so she got to go down the slides. Needless to say, my little four-year-old is exhausted from today, but she is going to sleep so so good tonight. She is loving camp. She's having so much fun. She's made her group of friends there. I'm just really grateful she has something like that to do this summer um, in our neighborhood. She's only going twice a week, but um, it's like just enough to keep us in a routine and also give her something to do. But anyways, Ty went to his Muay Thai class. It's just me and Scar here at home. I ordered some wings, so I'm gonna have some wings for dinner and I'm gonna call it a night. So thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.